Alright guys, so I wanted to make a deep delving video about the major red flags surrounding SOS and why you should be cautious before investing into the company. But I just learned about some major news, so I decided to cut the video short. First of all, Hindenburg Research is currently looking into SOS Limited. These are the people who called out Nikola Motors causing their stock to crash nearly 75%. But even more importantly, one of my friends noticed a massive change in the short interest for SOS. As of February 23rd, 2021, 10 million shares of SOS were available to short. This morning, however, this number plunged to just 3.6 million shares, meaning that 6.4 million shares were shorted between yesterday and today. This could be a lot of retail investors getting in, but retailers generally don't short companies. They usually buy puts. Moreover, SOS Limited currently trades for about $8 per share. So in order to short 6.4 million shares, you would need $51.2 million. Also, broker just won't let you short $51.2 million worth of shares if you just have $51.2 million. If the trade goes against you, broker just don't want to be held liable. So, they'll usually require short sellers to have 150 to 200% of the value they are shorting, especially with volatile stocks like SOS. This means that to short 6.4 million shares of SOS, 75 to $100 million worth of capital was required. On top of this, the fee to borrow these shares is about 50%, meaning that SOS Limited would have to crash quite heavily for these short sellers to profit in the first place. With that being said, it's very likely that some big pair has significant evidence against SOS, and that's why they're shorting so heavily. So, please be extremely careful with SOS, and in the meantime, here's some of the evidence that has been collected so far. Before we get into it though, I wanted to thank all of the people who gathered all of this evidence in the Belmont Discord, especially Mike M, Wealth by Stealth, Scotty B, and many many more. Anyways, the first piece of evidence is that all the news that has come out about SOS is from SOS themselves. If you go onto their website, you can find a news center tab and this is where all of the news about the company comes out. Not a single third party media agency has written their own report about the company. For instance, PR Newswire is a publisher relaying SOS Limited News, and if you look closely at each of their publications, you'll see that the news was provided by SOS Limited. Similarly, on each Yahoo Finance article about SOS, the only source they cite at the end of the article is SOS themselves. As a result, we don't have any evidence as to whether their claims are credible in the first place. Number two, SOS is doing business with some extremely shitty businesses, including a company called FXK and another company called HY International. On January 19, 2021, SOS Limited announced that they had entered a non-binding letter of intent to acquire FXK Tech Corporation. FXK is apparently a Canadian-based blockchain technology company who is going to help SOS with their mining operation. But here's the thing, FXK's website is a direct ripoff of a real mining company called RHY Mining. You can put these two websites side by side and you'll see that they are identical across the board. Nearly everything is exactly the same except for one key difference. You can actually buy mining equipment from RHY Mining as they have a buy button under their listings. Meanwhile, FXK does not have a buy button under their listings, so you can't actually buy any mining equipment from them. Something that's much more concerning is if we go into the source code of FXK's website, we can see several patches of Chinese characters. Now remember, FXK is supposedly a Canadian company, and they have not yet been acquired by SOS. In fact, the agreement they signed with SOS is not even binding. So, there shouldn't be any relation between the two companies yet, and we shouldn't see Chinese characters in the source code. Another major red flag with FXK is that if we look at their contact info, we'll see that their email address is fxkltd at outlook.com. If we enter this email into Outlook and press the forgot password button, we can see that the recovery email is under the domain 163.com. And guess what? 163.com is a Chinese email provider. Evidently, FXK seems to have major links to China, even though it is apparently a Canadian company. On top of this, if we search for SOS and FXK source code, we find 35 matches. If we take a closer look, we'll see that this is because every single one of the images on FXK's website is under the name SOSBX, which is SOS Limited's insurance company. Again, SOS has not actually bought FXK yet. Furthermore, if we do some more digging into FXK, we see that they were incorporated on July 8, 2020 with the following address. If we look that up on Google Maps, you'll see that the address is just a suburban house. Now, many startups do start in people's houses, but I highly doubt that a mining equipment company that's working with SOS Limited to generate 200 
$1,000 per day is being run out of a garage. So that's FXK. Now, let's take a look at the other company SOS is working with, HY International. First of all, HY International seems to be a direct ripoff of RHY Mining. They literally just dropped the H. Anyways, on January 21st, 2021, SOS announced that they were buying 15,645 mining rigs from HY International. So clearly, HY International must be a major mining equipment supplier. However, if we go look at their contact information, the primary contact of a major mining equipment supplier is their CEO, Claire Lowe. Now, that's odd in itself, and I don't think that's his real name. But maybe he's a super dedicated CEO looking to address all of his customers' concerns himself. However, here's where things get super sketchy once again. If you go under their product and services tab, you'll see that they have a couple of mining rigs listed. If you go under these listings though, you once again cannot purchase a single one of them. This makes absolutely no sense. What type of legitimate company doesn't allow customers to buy products from their official website? But to give HY International the benefit of the doubt, the people running Belmont Capital decided to call up customer support to see if they could buy any mining equipment. They posed as a random customer and asked the CEO if they could buy some mining rigs. I think you won't be surprised to hear that the request was rejected. Again, why would they reject potential revenue? I have no clue. It doesn't just stop right here either. SOS also has links to a company called eSecure Chain. On January 6, 2021, SOS announced that they were hiring Dr. Eric Hua Zong Yen, who is apparently an expert in cryptocurrency mining, security, and insurance technology. Before he joined SOS, though, he was the founder of a company called eSecure Chain, which SOS even acknowledges. eSecure Chain has a very similar website layout to SOSYun.com. But here's what's even more important. If we go on to Wayback Machine, which is a way to look at how websites used to look, we'll see that eSecure Chain has no history before February 18th, 2021. In fact, this is the same case with HY International as well. FXK, on the other hand, does have history, but the historic page simply tells you in Chinese that the domain is available for sale. So, none of these three websites even existed just a couple of weeks ago. And here's a nail in the coffin. FXK, HY International, and eSecure Chain are all run from the same IP address. Alright, so this is how far I got into the script until I learned about the massive shorts and potential Hindenburg report. There's so many more sketchy things about the company, like a plethora of direct offerings, a shady past, and much, much more. But I want to get this video out as soon as possible, so I'm not going to cover anything else. If you guys are interested in more information, please check out Belmont Capital's videos on it. I've linked his channel in the description. Also, be sure to check out TJ Investing's YouTube channel. He's going to be covering more news about SOS very soon. In the end, I'm not 100% sure if SOS is a fraud, and this is not financial advice. However, there are extremely big red flags with the company, and big money is starting to bet against it. So, it's much safer to sell your stake if you have one. Instead, if you want to invest in crypto mining companies, look into Riot and Mara. Anyways, drop a like if you guys appreciate the heads up. And of course, consider joining our Discord community to suggest future video ideas, and consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.